this is Praxis and back on site today. Everything really is quite cold. There's frost over everything. The grounds are uh, getting pretty frozen. We just really need like one more week of weather that doesn't have like a bunch of wind or rain and isn't freezing cold. Seasonably we should be, that should be available to us now, but we have this cold snap and things have just been really difficult. But I'm using the time that I have uh, while I wait for the area behind you. You see the tarp on the ground over there, I put that out yesterday. While I wait for the sun to kind of get under there, warm that area up so Josh can you know, get moving more of that in, uh, and while I wait for all this stuff to have the frost drip off of it, I don't want to be going up ladders while there's ice coating all over them. Uh, while I wait for all that stuff, I'm working on the channels, the air channels that go uh, on the inside. And uh, a couple of the areas uh, need to have uh, kind of a single chamber brick that needs to pass through uh, some of the, the pastures and the footing that I left in there. And I want to show you guys how to do that. Uh, there are uh, two different types of... Well, way more than two different types of cinder blocks, but uh, generally when you get a shipment, there'll be uh, two different types of cinder blocks in there. And uh, one type is uh, this here, which is, you know, just your classic two holes going through it, and it usually has like kind of an indentation on one side. And the other kind that you oftentimes have in the mix are bricks that have this kind of hole in the middle. It's like a little seam. And what that's for is so you can break them apart so that you can, uh, you know, do half a brick. So uh, I'm in the process of doing half a brick right now. And the way that you do that, one way that you do that, and maybe many others, uh, is I usually just take a hammer and I just tap along the line to start getting cracks going through there. And if you do this enough times, you can usually tell from the tone, you hear the, like the tone that it makes, you can usually tell from the tone when it's kind of given through and it's broken. So I do one side, not big, not big hits. You don't want to smash the brick. You just want to start fracturing, little fractures. See if you can hear the tone change. It'll get lower pitched. I'm gonna flip to the other side again. I don't know if the fact that it's freezing out changes this. Let's see. I just, I just, I just kind of keep flipping back and forth. Flip it again. I think it's getting close. And I'm hitting with the tip of the hammer, not the flat part of the hammer, so the tip of it is hitting. There it is, do you hear that? I'm gonna flip it over. Now I'm just waiting for it to actually do the crack. But in that the sound change, I can tell that it has a fracture through it. There we go. And there's a the crack. So there you go, so you take one brick, turn it into half a brick. And I'm gonna take these and put them like that and they're gonna be able to narrowly go through that little pasture area. That's it, thanks for watching.